Hello, sports fans, baseball fans, and White Sox fans. It's a sad day today, but I am ready to throw in the towel. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? This is a real pretty shit now, man. I think we're done. I think the White Sox, you can say, are done. No one in their right mind would bet against the Chicago White Sox. Now we've had a, a, a you know, a lot of things have happened over the course of this year. Most recently, Tony La Russa is on the shelf himself with, I, I guess, heart trouble, something. So he's not even running the team anymore from the dugout, which actually could be a good thing. I think, I think it is, actually, because he's some of the decisions he's made have been questionable over the course of the year, but that hasn't been the only problem. There's been uh, a lot of injuries. There's been players underperforming. It was sounding great, but I could have used a little more cowbell. Um, good prospect players um, not reaching um, the potential that maybe they thought that they would be at, like Sheets. Although Sheets is hot lately, um, he just hasn't come around the way that um, they expected. And Jake Berger, don't even get me started on Jake Berger. Everybody in the White Sox universe seems to be high on Jake Berger for whatever reason, because, I mean, he's a good, solid player, but he's not, he's not great. And he doesn't have the, the prospects that he, he's not, he's hasn't lived up to the prospect or the, uh, the, uh, level that people have, have expected of him. Um, now, of course, some of that in the past has been due to injury, but really, when he was up earlier this year and he was fine, he didn't really show that he was burning the world up. So, I mean, he's not the next coming of Mike Schmidt, is what I'm saying. So, we, we've had, you know, we've had things get in the way. We've had problems along the way. And those problems have led to us being, as I am recording this, on Friday evening before Friday's games, we are 65 and 66 and four games out of the AL Central race and six games out of a wild card. Now, I know you're going to say, well, there's 31 games left and we're only four games back. So, yes, technically, technically this team could come back in some kind of miraculous fashion and win this division. But I don't see it. I don't see it with the current roster and with the way players are playing and the injuries that we have. I mean, you know. And the White Sox were very disappointing at the All-Star break. We only went out and got Jake Diekman. And since then, we've signed Elvis Andrus to play shortstop in TA7's absence. But he, um, well, he was released for a reason, um, by the, uh, who had him, the Padres, or I think maybe the Padres had him. But anyway, I mean, he was released for a reason, and we're finding out what that reason is. So he's a poor replacement for TA7, and by the time he gets back, if he hasn't already come back, I don't think he has, but by the time he gets back, it's going to be too late. So there's 31 games left in the season and um we are currently um seven and seven against cleveland on the year and we are um four and three against the twins and we have nine games left against the twins and we have four games left against the guardians that's 13 of our 31 games left are against two teams in our division that we have to get past, that we have to get ahead of, that we're only 500 against, basically. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, I don't like the outlook. Um, we also have uh, four game, three or four games in there against Seattle, and Seattle is hot, and they're better than we are, for sure. Um, and, you know, and, uh, and Detroit and Kansas city who have shown that they can at least hang with us, 
Um, I mean, we have a, a few games left against Detroit and Kansas City, and those two teams have shown that they can be a thorn in our side. So, you know, basically with 31 games left, if the, um, if the Guardians went just 15 and 16 the rest of the way, if they just went 15 and 16, we would have to go 19 and 12. 19 and 12. And we have shown absolutely no indication that we can do that. Um, you know, they made some good moves along the way, like getting Cueto. That was a great move. He's been great for us. Um, but, I mean, the pitching just has not pitched as well as it should. Giolito hasn't pitched as well as he should. Lance Lynn hasn't pitched as well as he should. Um, it, I mean, and those are two big guys right there in our rotation. If they are, are worse than expected, you're going to have problems. And then, of course, T.A. being injured a lot. Other people being out at times, like Eloy Jimenez. And Jimenez getting off to a slow start. He's been hot lately, but he's gotten off. He got off to a slow start when he came back from his injury. Um, I mean, we've just had all kinds of problems that have been. Um, I, I really. I mean, it's been it's been a Murphy's Law season for the White Sox, and I don't see that miraculously turning around in the last thirty-one games of the year. So yes, technically. Technically, we're not dead, but realistically, we are. So what do you guys think out there? Um, whether you're a White Sox fan or you're just a baseball fan, you think I'm off base, you think I'm wrong about the fact that we're not going to be able to uh, leapfrog uh, Minnesota and Cleveland? Or do you think with just being four games back with 31 to play, that's still doable? Um Based on what you know about how we're playing and how the team is and the problems and challenges that it seems to have. Because I think it's doable if you're just looking in a vacuum at some random team that's four back with 31 to play, it's doable. But if you're looking at this particular White Sox team in this particular division against these particular teams, no, not doable. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I would be very interested. Leave a comment below. Uh, give me a thumbs up for the video. It always helps. But that is going to be, that's my commentary. That's my soapbox. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.